So you know why I've never recommended the Redmi Air Dots? Do you know that this control cannot even skip songs? Selamat sore! Good evening everyone, Kenneth here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to remap the button control here so you don't have to summon voice assistant. You can pick one of your favorite control and put it into double tap. I found a couple posts on this thing. First is the Reddit post and a Xiaomi forum post. The Xiaomi forum post, like the one you see right here, is how to use macro draw it. And the second one is from the Reddit post. It's called dot draw it. It's another alternative. It's another app. Let's see how it compares to macro draw it. Without waiting too much more, let's jump right into the first app, macro draw it. Okay, so this is the interface of macro draw it. Here, I'm just gonna go step by step. We're gonna press on add macro and we're gonna set these three things up here. So first for the trigger, that's user input, and then it's gonna be the media button pressed, long press, okay, and moving on to actions, we're gonna go for the media. That's control media, simulate media button, press on okay, and here you have the option to pick whether a double tap will go to the previous song or to the next song and we're gonna press on OK. And now you're gonna pick which app do you want to control. As you can see, there is an attempt foreground app here, but this never worked for me. So I have to specifically assign this gesture to an app in this test. I'm gonna go with Spotify. And this one is the one that works for me. That's done on the actions part. We're gonna go to constraints. And here we're gonna set the connectivity, Bluetooth state. We're gonna press on device connected. Tap on OK and choose the Redmi Air Dots R. Tap on OK and basically you're done setting up the micro. So tap on the check icon on the bottom right, put a macro name, I'm gonna put it next song and tap on OK. Because this is a free app, you will get some advertisements, but you'll have to just wait for five seconds and that's it. Okay, so what you can see right here is we have our macro assigned and it's turned on and we can go back right here and the macro droid app itself is turned on. And because this is not my first time opening the app, there was a prompt when you first double tap the gesture, tap on macro droid as the default app and it will work just fine. So let's try this out. I'm gonna open Spotify. So right now it's connected. I'm gonna shuffle play one, two. Okay, so one press is pausing the song. I'm gonna tap one more. So that's play and double tap just like usual. One, two. And that's gonna next the song. One more time. Okay, so there you go. It is the same thing with the left earbud as well. So if you're taking it out like this, okay, that's connected now. One, two. There you go. Still next song. The rest of the control is just the same. So now you have next song in the earbuds itself, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now that's it for the macro draw it. Let's move on to the second app. It's called dot draw it. And we're gonna tap it open right here. I've just installed this app and as you can see, it wanted permission for appear on top, location, and notification access. It's good that they explain it, why do they need these permissions, but for macro droid to work, it doesn't even need any permission. It just needs to be the default app the first time you try to double tap the earbuds. But this, you will have to grant this app extra permissions, which I'm not really comfortable doing already. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna allow the permissions. And basically here, it's just, I think a more simpler app. You don't have to set up anything and it just basically works with all the Xiaomi earbuds out there, like the AirDots Pro right here. And I think this will also work with the wide version. So this is how you use it. You just open the app and take the earbuds out. And now that's connected, it will automatically detect the Xiaomi Air Dots. So I don't know why it's ETC there, but we're gonna tap on Air Dots Youth. And now you will have this interface right here. So what you get is a battery indicator. I think this one should be the batteries of 
the earbuds themselves there is touch information here so this is the main thing that we're going to use and how to set it up is to press on the settings icon on the top right here on the top two there's one touch setting and also the two touch settings you can change the one touch setting like play or pause which i don't want to change actually let's see you can change it to previous songs volume up volume down or even rewind or anything read current time i i don't know if it's more useful than play or pause but it's possible and also the two touch settings which i'm gonna assign to next song there was a warning right there basically this is how the app works it works a little differently than macro draw it in macro draw it they assign the Google Assistant button into something else but this one the Google Assistant is still present two times tap here you're gonna have to tap it once until you hear the beep from the earbuds themselves and quickly tap another one let's try it here on Spotify tap once to play the song and now I'm gonna tap quickly one two that's a quick two taps. Actually, it is summoning voice assistant, but the voice assistant is not working on this phone. So you have to tap slowly, like one, then two, and it will move to the next song. Let's try it again. One and two. There you go. One and two. And as you can see, this also works on the left. One and two. So that is how you skip songs with dot draw it. It's not the same as macro draw it, but you will still have the ability to summon voice assistant. So that is dot draw it. Let's sum it up real quick here. We have two apps that we can use to remap the button controls on the Redmi Air Dots. First is macro draw it, and second is dot draw it. And from the get go, we can see that dot draw it requires more permission. It also has more advertisements. Well, it displays the battery, I guess. And it takes another extra second to trigger the double tap gesture. But the plus thing is you have a lot more control to the two touch. Even you can change the one tap off this thing. You can also uh, turn off the touch alert. So it has its own beep on top of the beep of the earbuds itself. I found myself to just turn it off. That's a good thing that they included here. And yeah, I think I don't prefer having this kind of app in my phone if this phone was mine this is my friends but if I want more customization probably this is the more easier to use oh and I also have to note that you don't have to do much settings with this one even though with the macro draw it is not that hard either so yeah that's dot draw it for macro draw it what I like is the simplicity of the app you really just set it up once and basically forget about it and the setup is also not that hard as you can see you can turn it on and off and they both live in your notification center like dot draw it here it reports the battery level so I think it's pretty good and macro draw it is just another app living in your notification center center but you might notice already I much prefer macro draw it I'm fine with having no Google assistant button in exchange for next song gesture so that's why I would recommend macro draw it over dot draw it for this purpose but it's up to you whether you want to choose the dot draw it or macro draw it because they both work so yeah I think that is pretty much it for the video thank you very much for watching please do give it a thumbs up my thumbs up are keep thumbing up what am i saying yeah please do give it a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't like it and don't forget to subscribe that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching once again um i hope this has been useful i will see you wait a minute oh i forgot to promote my social media account so don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter as always you can post a comment down below for any questions you might have chat with me on instagram and twitter yeah <laughs> that's about it thank you very much See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe so that I will, uh, I don't know, so that I will post more videos. Yeah, I'm still recording on my bed, by the way, so um, I'll try to find something, something, something better than my bed.